the action plan on mental health and addictions is is an entire plan or a canopy, if you will. And under that canopy, you have three key pillars, the expansion of capacity, the improvement of access to the system, better coordinating the services that individuals need, and finally, the transition to a recovery-oriented system of care. It's focused on recovery and treatment and not allowing individuals to, to continue to suffer in, an, in a life of addiction. By the end of this fiscal year, we wanted to add 150 addictions treatment spaces of the 500 committed, the 500 being our long-term goal. And we've already exceeded that initial target of 150. Uh, we're at 168 uh, treatment spaces that have been announced. And we want to signal to people that we value their life more than to allow them to stay in that place. And not stigmatizing them because they're using, but really showing them that we value their life and their health and their safety, providing them with the unique supports that they need and transitioning them uh, back into the community with long-lasting recovery.